shocking accident. A model helicopter buff hit in the head by his own mini chopper. His family and friends speaking out now with big questions about how this could happen with someone so skilled at flying these remote controlled machines. ABC's Lindsay Davis. New York City family grieves after a freak accident claimed the life of their 19-year-old son. Copters. He was flying this chopper at a park in Brooklyn on Thursday, a park frequented by RC helicopter enthusiasts. When police say he lost control of it, he was struck in the head and killed. The model, typically used for acrobatic stunts, was gas-powered, large, with wingspans reaching almost four and a half feet, reaching speeds of up to 60 miles per hour. Whoa! Perosic was a member of a team of remote control helicopter pilots with his own YouTube channel displaying his skills. We were all concerned about our own personal safety, but, um, you know, things happen. Things happen. It's just an unreal event that someone that young, that full of life, enjoying something is gone. Okay. Aviation experts say Perosic appeared to be a talented pilot, but say that the hobby does come with risks. You've got something with the uh, whirling blades that are, uh, it's like knives, and uh, you get hit with that, it's no joke. Perosic's father is the vice president of a Rotary Wings helicopter club, which actually organizes flights in the park. And a spokesman for the Academy of Model Aeronautics says he believes this is only the second death caused by a remote control helicopter in the United States, but so scary. Yeah. It really is freak accident, yeah. but so sad. Thank you, Lindsay.